I am going to show you how to set up a simple TypeScript development environment locally for learning TypeScript and for simple TypeScript application. For more complex TypeScript application, I recommend using Webpack, which many front-end frameworks and libraries use under the scene, behind the scene, under the hood. Um, so for this to work, you need to have a node front-end development pipeline set up on your machine already. There should be plenty of documentation out there on how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, create a directory for this particular app. And then we are going to set up our package.json file by running the npm uh, init-y to quickly initiate and just get the default setting for your node uh, front-end package. And then after that, we are going to install uh, TypeScript. Now, I highly recommend not installing TypeScript globally because that could potentially make yourself vulnerable to certain security risk. And then on top of that, uh, potentially a TypeScript version mismatch between your local computer and with the team that you're working with. So I recommend installing TypeScript at the application level or at the directory level. And we can do that by running npm i dash capital D, which is shorthand for npm install uh, save dev. And so the strategy here is for us to have a web server serving up our static compile and transpile file in, on one server and then in another console we are going to run the TypeScript compiler watch feature to watch our code file and then on save compile and transpile it into JavaScript for us. So it's, the con it's sort of like the concept of a, a, a web server and app server in running in two different terminals. And so for our web server, I am going to use the light server. You have multiple choices here. I prefer light server. It's, it's easy to use, quick to set up. So let's install that. Okay, so once you install that, once you install TypeScript, now you have access to the TypeScript command line tool, the CLI. And you can access that by uh, running the TSC command. So the TSC, the TypeScript compiler command, uh, allows us to initialize a TypeScript project. You can go TSC init. TSC dash dash init will give us the uh, TypeScript configuration.json file that we can use to uh, set up um, some options for our TypeScript. Let's go ahead and open this up in VS Code. Okay, so I done most of this ahead of time to save some time. Go ahead and create a an index.html file. You can use the Emmet shorthand if you don't know already. Uh, HTML, the HTML colon five and that'll generate uh, the HTML file for you. Let's create a script tag here. Index.js doesn't exist yet, but it will exist once we set up our watcher to compile and transpile our TypeScript to JavaScript. Uh, go ahead and create an index.ts file too for our TypeScript. And then let's go to our tsconfig.json file, which again was generated by running the ts tsc init command. So in here, I want to change a couple of things. Uh, let's go with the latest version of ECMAScript 2020. And then under source on line 15 source map, let's go ahead and uncomment it, uncomment that out so that we can debug 
we can debug the actual TypeScript file and not the transpile and compile JavaScript file. If you use a, a modern SPA framework like Angular, or if you use TypeScript with other front-end frameworks, um, the ability to debug uh, TypeScript is right here. So, so if you want that same ability, you want to uncomment line 15. That's all for now with the config. Okay, so let's go to package.json file. Um, so I set up um, the command to start our web server. Go ahead and type uh, after line seven, type in start and then light server to call this. Now, by default, light server will serve or listen to port uh, 3000 on local host. Um, if you want to change the port to a different port, because it, because for whatever reason, port 3000 is on your machine is already listening to another process, then what you need to, what you need to do is to create a bs.config.json file, bs-config.json file. It has to be named like that. And then uh, in that JSON file, do what I do here, uh, create a JSON object and then uh, the key port, right? it has to be port, and then whatever port you want to use, in my case, 1776, so that when you run npm start, it will listen on 1776, or whatever port you want to listen to. Okay, so in the uh, index.ts file, I have this very basic uh, hello world TypeScript app, okay? So let's go to terminal. So in one terminal, I am going to call tsc-w, which is shorthand for tsc-watch. So it will watch our code base and on save, it will, it will compile and transpile for us, okay? And then in the other terminal, in the same directory, at the base, I am going to start my web server, npm start. Okay, see that? It's the 1776. There's our hello world. Okay, let's do a quick test. Let's say, hello, bacon, because everybody loves bacon. And then, well, not, well, most people anyways. Uh, let's go to, there, there's the bacon there. And then let's say I intentionally use a number instead of a string. Um, obviously, you get your warning in the IDE, but if you were to develop with the console running, you get a warning there too, okay? Telling you you have mismatch data, mismatch data type. Also, this bs.config JSON file, it has to live at the root of your directory. Um, so just a little bit, about TypeScript, a little bit of a caveat. Um, there is a lot of marketing hype around TypeScript. I've been using TypeScript since the spring of 2014, when at that time, the architects in my company um, went with TypeScript and Angular JS. At that time, I believe it was either 1.3 or 1.4 or version of Angular JS. Just to get a, to, just to get ahead of the power curve, with the pending uh, uh, upgrade to Angular two back in twenty fourteen, um, and the reason why my company went with TypeScript is because they wanted everybody to be full stack developers, and we had people that were doing, you know, Java for over twenty years and and C sharp for over fifteen years, but they were trying to learn TypeScript. So for us, TypeScript was a solution to a 
people problem and not necessarily a technology problem. TypeScript for us was used to um, help people transition to JavaScript and all of its quirks. Um, people that, were, that have extensive experience in software engineering in other languages. And even today, despite other marketing speak, TypeScript is just syntactic sugar. It is just syntactic sugar. TypeScript does not run in the browser. It has to be compiled down to JavaScript and then transpiled down to whatever JavaScript version you want to use. So it's all syntactic sugar, okay? Uh, it, all of the f phenomenal types and data structures that you get in TypeScript, it's all syntactic sugar. And like I said, it is a problem to a people, it is a solution to a people problem, not a technology problem. But even despite all of that, I, I still like it. You know, if it helps people to create relatively bug-free JavaScript app, I am all for it. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Good luck.